Hi everyone, my name is Khalid Azizin and I'm a student in uh, BH, BHD uh, program in British University. Today I will talk about uh, the software engineering regulation and the standardization enforcement. <clears throat> software engineering challenges are increased during the last 20 years. We are trying to discuss some of those cha these challenges and uh, we will propose a solution that could help us to uh, mitigate some of these uh, risks. Okay, so, so software engineering uh, announced as a discipline in 1969 uh, uh, in a conference called uh, NATO conference. Uh, and uh, software in engineering is evolved with due to the advances that happening in uh, compu computation power, in computers, laptops, and smart devices and also the programming languages. Software engineers defi defined by IEEE uh, as the application of the systematic discipline and quantifiable approach to the development, operation, and the maintenance of software, and the study of these approaches that is the application uh, of engineering to software. Okay. The aim of software engineering is to answer questions like how to create a software, how to measure its quality, and how to measure the size of software application, and also how to create a secure and error-free uh, software. Okay, software engineering as a discipline or as a methodology uh, in, in the past, they were talking about software development life cycle, which was represented by water for prototyping and spray. And also in, 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 in the present, the agile, agility is the main methodology that, are, uh, that is used in, used in software engineering. What is the software engineering challenges that we are facing uh, nowadays? There is uh, two types of challenges. First type is te technological challenges, like uh, we, there is and there is, uh, there is a lot of technologies that are, are rising now, like software-oriented architecture, cloud computing, big data, and the Internet of Things, and also uh, system of systems. The professional challenges that we are facing, which I will focus about, which is uh, related to educational challenges, software engineering skills, software project management, and software product quality. The gap between theoretical studies in software engineering and the reality uh, happening in the software industri industry is huge, and the link between both is missed in many situations. So there is there is increasing in, 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 in com complexity of this discipline. Thousands of software engineer students are graduated without a specific domain knowledge, and the skills needs uh, needs by the market. In many cases. One can find information uh, technology professional who did not graduate from software engineering institutes or studied software engineering basic concept, and they, do, they don't they don't follow and or apply any software rules and standardization, which in return produce a vulnerability to uh, the software engineering environment. There is, there is also cases that the software uh, engineering companies are not following any standards in software project management and also focusing on low cost resources without paying attention to the uh, produced quality. We found in, in, in many incidents that software product uh, uh, do not follow protocols needed to ensure that these, these products are documented, secure, and ready uh, for integration, which both harm, harm be, uh, uh, which cause a lot of harm to people or organization that are using it. And in some cases, the tools and techniques used to develop the, these products are expired, which could lead to co compatibility issues. So we are proposing a solution of having a software regulator. The software regulator will check the compli compliance of software engineering education and the latest industry practice. And it will make sure that the, the graduate of software engineering institute is equipped with the latest technologies. Companies that are working in a software engineering will not be licensed until they prove that they are following the standardization in creating a software product and also following the, late, uh, the best practice in project management of software engineering. Like any discipline, software engineer has to be licensed and uh, his license has to be renewed uh, 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 based on uh, certain timing. 
uh, to make sure that he is educated uh, with the latest tools and technique in his field. Software regulator will also uh, license the software product to make sure that is, it is follow the published standardization and the, the license also has to uh, has to expire to uh, to make sure that the software product is updated uh, uh, as per the latest published standardization conclusion software engineering is being evolved uh, since the beginning of previous century and the, the advances that is happening in computers programming language and smart advisor affected tools techniques and the methodologies that are used in software creation the new emerging technology like big data internet of things and cloud computing increase the complexity of the software product and created many challenges that have to be addressed and studied to facilitate the progress in software engineering we are proposing the need of software community to have uh, a regulator to make sure that the software engineering education is up to required standard and it uh, is to link between uh, with the standard industry and uh, to be respons uh, responsible soft and to help it to, uh, in creating a software engineering that uh, ha has a skills and uh, as per market standard and as per the latest technologies. The main objective of the proposed regulator is to organize the software market and quickly respond to the new challenges and evolution. Uh, in, 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 in the next researches, we will discuss the structure of the proposed regulator organization and how to finance this organization, how to create a link between it and the current standardization, uh, standardization organization, and also what the, what has allowed standardization to be followed for each category, and what are uh, the techniques to be used to enforce the selected standardization. And, uh, and also we need to avoid the disadvantages uh, advantages that results from the proposed regulations. Any questions? Thank you very much.